Now you've seen your options, how do you choose the right one for your next job? First, choose a power source, AC or DC. If you want to connect to DC battery controllers, choose this DC latching version of the 2400 valve. When it comes to power, you have two choices, AC and DC. AC solenoid coils need a constant electrical signal to open, so you'll need to run cable from your controller to the valves. The controller will send a signal to the valve over the cable and pull up the solenoid plunger. The power source will hold that plunger up until the signal from the controller is dropped. DC valves are becoming more popular because they make installing new systems much easier. You don't need to run a cable from the controller. Instead, a waterproof battery controller sits in the valve box and sends a signal to the coil which switches it on. A new signal is then sent to switch it off. You also don't need power to hold the plunger up. On average, you should get around 12 to 18 months out of your DC controller before you need to swap out the battery. But it will depend on how many programs you run and how often you run them. You can buy DC coils separately and retrofit them to any solenoid valve. Then ask whether you need flow control. It's worth choosing a solenoid valve with flow control because you can then fine tune your system after installation. Finally, decide if you need a screw bonnet or jar top. If you're in an area that's prone to freezing, a screwed bonnet is your safest bet. If there's sandy soil, a jar top will be easier to service.